My name is Christina and my self-care practice is yoga. Um, so I started doing yoga a few years ago when I was going through a breakup. So I was going to yoga at least once a day, sometimes twice a day because I needed that and that can be expensive. So I started doing it at home after I got a feel for, okay, this is how a class goes, this is what you need to do. And now I mostly just do it in my living room with YouTube. At night, I usually like to do like really restorative, just laying down, nothing demanding. And I try to do that right before I go to bed. And sometimes, a lot of the time, I'll fall asleep on the floor while I'm doing that. So that makes me feel really relaxed and ready to go to sleep. During restorative yoga, you're kind of building yourself a, kind of like a cradle to support you and then you just lay in it. And the whole point is to do nothing. The things that I'm thinking about are letting every muscle or part of my body kind of loosen up. So as simple as your jaw, like you might not know that you're clenching your jaw until you've been laying there for five minutes and then you release that. I kind of go through my body like from the top of my head all the way to my toes trying to relax every part of myself. I have a very multitasking brain. I'm always thinking of a million things at the same time. It's that creative thing of having a bunch of tabs open all the time. It kind of feels frustrating and frenzied. So for me, self-care is making myself focus on one thing for even if it's just 10 minutes um, because I think my brain needs that. I think that most people probably do have some self-care practice in their day, whether or not they realize it. There are probably things that you're doing that you really like to do, and maybe you don't make a point to do it every single day, or maybe you've only done this thing a couple of times and you don't think of it as self-care, but if you just commit to yourself, then I think that makes it a self-care practice. So it doesn't really matter what it is. It doesn't have to be productive. I think that's the point, is it's just something that you're doing because you like it. Self-care is important for women because we, or at least I and a lot of people that I know, feel like we need to take care of everyone else. I don't have children. I don't have dependence but it can be as simple as oh this person wants me to hang out with them and I'll feel really bad if I don't this person really wants to text me right now and have like a full text conversation and I feel obligated to respond to all of the texts because it feels rude not to so for my self-care practice if I can just turn my phone over and put it down for a while, it helps kind of put a pause on that, at least for a little while. Hey Naturally Curly World, this month we're talking about self-care beyond hair, so if you'd like to see how our editors wind down and recenter, then click on their individual episodes. And if you want more tips and articles, then go to naturallycurly.com. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more from us. Bye.